all eyes on our next personal weather day. It's going to be Wednesday. We're talking about some fog and the chance for scattered rain. This is all going to be courtesy of a cold front that's been gradually pushing in from the west. That's going to bring those higher rain chances through the day. Now we are expecting higher rain totals south and east of Atlanta, but we do think that this boundary is going to be a while around as we head into Thursday, which means that we can see a few showers as we head into Thursday morning and afternoon. Here's how we get through Wednesday, which is the first alert weather day. You can see there's some scattered showers out there, not overwhelming, but what you don't see is the fog and there's lots of cloud cover around, so it is going to be dreary and probably some drizzle around for the morning commute, but the rain chances start to creep up as we get closer to around lunchtime. We can see scattered showers, even some heavier downpours building into the area. And then as we head into the four or five o'clock commute, it's areas south and east of Atlanta that really sees the bulk of this moisture and we'll keep tracking that through the evening hours. Meanwhile, things north and west start to trend a little bit drier. We get some breaks in the clouds and we clear out, but clouds build back in to start off your Thursday morning. And I think that a spotty shower can't be rolled out for the morning commute, but most of us trend a little bit drier. Temperatures try to rebound as we push into the afternoon as we get some breaks in the clouds and then we'll lower those rain chances as we head into the evening. Still dealing with the south breeze, so those overnight temperatures will be on the milder side. Now we're continuing to monitor the potential for there to be some flooding, but we think that's going to be well to the south and east of our viewing area. Best chance is going to be down towards Sandersville, maybe Jasper, Putnam counties, about a 15% chance of getting flash flood guidance, but not expecting that in the metro. Rain totals are going to vary depending on where you are. We do think lower rain totals north and west of I-85, higher rain totals the further south and east you go and we can see some of our communities pick up an inch to two inches from places like Covington down towards Thomaston and Eatonton. Meanwhile, we are keeping an eye on the tropics. Tropical storm Raphael has wind sustained at 70 miles per hour. It's still moving at 15 miles per hour to the north and west. This is forecast to become a hurricane before it actually interacts with Cuba. We do have tropical storm warnings in effect for the Florida Keys. But other than that, we'll see this system start to weaken as it makes a westward trend uh, over the course of the weekend, eventually lifting northward uh, towards uh, Louisiana by Sunday. But we do think that this storm will be uh, tearing apart and de degenerating. Meanwhile, there will be some moisture lifting northward our way, not directly associated with that system, but that is going to keep unsettled weather pattern ahead uh, as we have pushed through the weekend and into the start of next week. We'll keep about a 20 to 30 percent chance of rain as we head towards Sunday. Things trend drier by Veterans Day, and then we'll see a good mix of sun and clouds with highs near 76 on Tuesday.